The Elite Cataphract is a noble cavalry option of the Empire. Players have been fighting for ages over who is the best lancing cavalry in Bannerlord, with Team Banner Knights and Team Cataphract making for the most heated debate. While the Druzinic Champion team remains underrated, and the Kansgard's team has not yet learned how to read that lancing and cavalry doesn't mean glaive and or archer. For noble troops, it's always good to have a look at their skills, as they are very different from standard tier 5 units. In the case of the Cataphract, it brings 200 one-handed, 260 polearm, and 200 riding. The one-handed value is 20 less than the banner knight, while the riding and polearm values are the same. Judging from the skill set, it's clear the cataphract are a pure lancing option that only aims at shocking the enemy with a heavy charge or flanking from the side. As I always emphasize, cavalry in this game doesn't have it easy, and in order for a cavalry unit like the cataphract to perform well, heavy armor will be required, and that's exactly what this troop specializes in. By bringing an head armor value of 52 brought by the Goggle Cataphract Helmet, that we rank the unit tied in second place among cavalry and third overall. And when it comes to the body armor, the Cataphract will bring another impressive value of 74, brought by the heavy Lamellar over Oberk and the Lamellar heavy pauldrons, ranking first by a landslide among cavalry and even across all units in the game. When considering head plus body, the cataphract ranked first not only among cavalry but also overall, with a value of 126, and they keep the same position when considering all armor types. Now it's time to cover the equipment. The main weapon of the cataphract is the Cursor Lance. It has a very good 86 trans speed, the length is a bit on the long side for cavalry at 225, and the base damage is a very solid 40. An important thing to notice about this weapon is that it's a two-handed lance. So forget about the unit using both these and the shield at the same time. And when told to shield wall and charge, the AI will do very well even without it. If not, even better. As far as the weapon performance goes, it's a very solid spear. It's very fast and delivers a lot of damage, and the length of 225 seems to also work well. As far as well goes for spears, that is, and the polearm skill of 260 will massively help the unit. And since it can brace as well, this makes the cataphract a very good anti cav unit if you choose to use them to cover that role. An equally important weapon of the cataphract is the fine steel paramarion, an 84 swing speed, 72 cut damage, and 160 in length one and the sword. If you haven't watched the legionary video, this weapon is not the greatest when it comes to foot combat, but because of the mounted nature of the cataphract and the fact that they use a two handed spear, this weapon is and will be a key component of this unit. The AI, when told to shield or charge, uses the weapon very well, and because of its long nature and high row damage, it's not rare to see the cataphracts deliver killing blows with ease. Talking about the shield, the Cataphracts bring a Night Sky shield that has 550 HP and a length of 110. Quite long for a shield that looks this small, and as far as I know, this is the longest shield for a cavalry unit, adding a very good tank bonus to an already tanky unit. Now that we are done with the equipment, let's see where this unit ranked across cavalry units. When considering efficiency against archers, the Cataphract finished first, with 1 second place and 3 first places. They finished with a KD of 11.27 and a KD of 195.6 against low tiers. The Cataphracts lost 6.48% of their units, and averaged a casualty chance against low tiers of just 0.13%. When considering efficiency against Spearmen, the Cataphract finished first yet again, with a complete sweep, with an average KD of 197.44, yeah, that's the global KD, by the way, and a KD against low tiers of 258.4, just to put things into perspective, here is a comparison with the Banner Knights. The Cataphracts lost 0.43% of their units and ended with another casualty chance against low tiers of just 0.07%. And finally, when considering the melee efficiency, the Cataphracts dropped down among the Mortals by ranking 4th, with 2 5th places and 2 3rd places. They finished with another KD of 4.96 and the KD against low tiers of 164.62. The Cataphracts ended up losing 28.71% of their units and averaged a 1.32% casualty chance against low tiers. As the graphs make it clear, this unit isn't built for dismounted combat, and when it comes to mounted combat, it has basically anyone else beat. 
So let's go ahead and it's the pros and cons. Their general armor, both for the unit and horse, is the best in the game. They carry no throwables, making them less versatile. Despite ranking only 4th in dismounted combat, the cataphracts are still better performance than the legionaries in melee. So if you fancy using them as infantry, they are quite good. On top of that, their shield is long enough and extremely tanky. Their great overall armor makes them tough to bring down, and then translates to them being the best pure melee cavalry in the game by quite a margin. Their sidearm, although not great on foot, works very well while mounted. This unit dismount potential is very high, but against low level armies, keeping them mounted will be your best option. When dismounted, this unit can act as a very decent anti-cavalry option, and I'd say they are good for sieges as well. And as far as the line is concerned, outside of the infantrymen at tier 2 and the light cavalry at tier 3, the rest of the line is very solid tier by tier, making for a smooth and reliable transition to the tier 6. Since we have compared this unit to both the legionary and the Thunder Knight, we must say it brings no maces, so you will acquire less prisoners as a result. My final score is a 5 out of 5. The Cataphract is a very good unit that has honestly close to no weakness outside of the very poor cavalry AI, and it's the best cavalry option when it comes to mount the combat. And before you ask, Yes, it's a bit better than the Kansgards in their category as of 1.8. I am also surprised. I assume that's because of both the long weapons AI being worse and the armor buff. The only reason why this unit won't get an overpower score is because of the very real limitation of the cavalry AI. But outside of that, this is the cavalry unit that comes closer to their rank. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click the playlist on your right. Or on your left is the video YouTube things you might be interested in next. Thanks for watching and I I hope you found this breakdown useful.